A vigilante group is taking Chicago road safety into their own hands, doing city road work like you see behind us here, all on their own. They say the city refuses to respond to their request for help. This is a story you'll see only on two tonight from our Tara Molina on the city's north side. We're told there have been a number of safety concerns and complaints expressed about this crosswalk. And because the city never responded to those, this group did. Their first project ripped up in less than 24 hours. Hard at work Monday. They won't show their faces or use their names. Because what they're doing isn't legal. I mean, you guys are kind of like the vigilante CDOT. Yeah, we like to call ourselves the People CDOT. The People CDOT crews working on city property, city roadways to address safety concerns they say the city won't. If the only way we're going to get safe streets is by breaking city code or municipal code or whatever, then we're happy to do that. Volunteers sick of Chicago red tape. They say they formed out of city neglect out of frustration. A lot of finger pointing. The alderman says, well, CDOT didn't tell me. And then CDOT says, Aldermanic prerogative is blocking me. So today what we're doing is we're protecting the crosswalk and making it so that cars can't park there. And we're also putting speed bumps near the stop sign that would force drivers to slow down, stop before they just roll through the stop sign. But the project our cameras rolled on, it was removed in less than 24 hours. Rita Nasal noticed. Um, and I was kind of surprised to see them taken up so quickly. Just like she's noticed the dangerous driving and parking since moving to the neighborhood about a year ago. And there are a lot of times like barely even slow down when there's stop signs. Definitely uh, scary at times. Fear and concerns some residents say the city was ignoring is what brought the group to this neighborhood in the first place. When CDOT needs to destroy something that's making people safer, they have a very rapid response. But when people are asking CDOT to make our streets safer, it takes years and years to get a response. A look at their Twitter account gives you a better idea of more of their work undone. City officials won't say if city crews responded to tear this down, and most of our questions related to the group were ignored. A CDOT spokesperson told us, quote, Altering the public way by installing unauthorized infrastructure can pose a safety risk, both to those doing the installing and potentially the general public, and may damage existing infrastructure. It's kind of sad that it has to result to that. Um, I think that the city should be doing more. The first project torn up here, it cost $700, all donated money from frustrated residents. Group leaders tell us they won't be deterred. Reporting in Lakeview, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.